enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again, man. It is a great day. Uh, we have completed the lift uh, mechanism in the RV, the te television lift. We are currently working on the uh, cabinet to surround that lift. And uh, because it is a lift for an RV, it's got to it's it's got to have several requirements. One, it has to be light. It cannot be heavy. And and in doing so, you you know you don't really want to use an MDF product uh, or something like that. Um, and you also don't want it to be thick. Remember, I I, I went through a lot of pain to shrink that uh, to to space that depth space down uh, to a minimum. So I just don't want to use something and create larger than I need. So in doing so, what I've come up with is. I'm using a half inch birch ply. Um, you can pick this up at Home Depot. It's 40 bucks for a sheet. Um, I had Home Depot, I measured out what I needed. I had Home Depot uh, do my rip cuts. Uh, they're so-so cuts, they're not great cuts. The guy was a little bit impatient and, and did a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, chipping coming off, so but not a big deal. I sanded it down, I, and I made sure that those pieces that splintered are going to be inside pieces versus outside pieces. So it's all good, uh, but I'm using a fairly light plywood, and I have uh, I made these. These here are are basically. I hate saying basically. These here are uh, the back. This will go on to the wall here. I will use silicon. Silicon this to the wall, like so. I will use silicon on this and silicon this to the wall. This is 32 and a half inches tall, which is great for my television because it sits behind here. This will be glued to the wall. And then this case here, as you can see, I, I'm finishing it up here. This will slide in front of this, bypassing here. Let's turn this around so you can see. Hang on one second. Well, actually, let's move you over here. So these will sit like this. This side will be glued to the wall. And then this case here will come up and slide, will come up and slide over the front of this, creating my face, and my TV will be behind it. And here's where my television lift is right in here, and then my window's up here. So picture that. This doesn't weigh hardly anything. This is a very light sheet of plywood, which kind of surprised me when I picked it up, uh, how, how light it was. So what we're going to, I would ha already have this installed, but this is bare wood. I don't want to use bare wood. We are going to paint everything because, you know, moisture in an RV is not a good thing. This is not marine grade plywood. So we're going to paint it. Our color choice is gray kind of a gray in the floor, a kind of a color that we have in the house. We need some, uh, some uh, glossy paint for the house anyway. I'm going to buy a quart of glossy. We'll gloss this, maybe a gallon of glossy, I don't know, probably a quart. We will paint this in gloss, and we have a rail in the house we're going to paint in gloss, the same color. So kind of kills two birds with one stone, and that's a good thing. So that's that. These have already set. And I'll show you what I'm doing here. Because everything is getting painted, so see that will slide in front just like that. So, and this is really pretty smooth. Kind of surprising how smooth this wood is. Uh, it's an A side here. I don't think the back side's an A side, it's probably a B side, maybe a C side, but it's pretty clean too. But what this is here, this is, this is a lightweight spackle. You use it to fill holes in drywall and stuff like that. There's no need to use a wood putty or wood filler for this. Um, so what you do, take a little bit, I use a straight edge razor. And I don't know if you can see it. Um, hopefully you can. Where I nailed in here, I'm just going to go over that. 
and fill those nail holes in. And then I'm going to come back afterwards and sand this all back down. see if we still have any more uh, holes and um, then move on to the next part which will probably be my wife painting it because I'm not going to paint it. guys so we've uh, we've completed the the build of the cabinet we still have to paint it I've dry fitted it in here so you could get a look this is the second time I've shot this I shot it earlier <laughs> at least I thought I shot it earlier and there was not no video so no sound no video so I'm redoing this uh, it's about an hour later so it's it's roughly four o'clock in the afternoon on a day where uh, beautiful in Portland, man. It is set. And no, it's it's 80 degrees, sunshine. The RV is hot. I haven't felt this hot in a long time. It it's kind of good, man. It, it kind of feels good for a change. The top that I have on this uh, box is um, right now is three quarter inch plywood that I had a little piece left over. I just kind of cut it. I didn't have a, a long enough. That comes out so I really need it probably a, another half inch longer or a quarter inch longer um, but this will give you the idea of what it looks like and how it's gonna look in the RV and picture it more of the color of the floor the darker gray I think it'll be that kind of gray going up and the top piece of wood instead of that little piece of cheesy plywood I hope will be five-fourths walnut uh, stained <clears throat> stained walnut uh, a, a nice high gloss walnut probably. Oh, well I was going to set you down, but actually I can just move you over here. I've still got to hook up my power down here. Got to build a little box to go over the red and black cable that comes over. Uh, I built a prototype for it, so uh, I know what it looks like. I've got some parts ordered for it that'll go into the box and then into the cables go into here. Uh, this white cable will come down the arm and come down into the box and then into there as well. So I'll show you what that looks like when, uh, when I get that ready. All right, but this is what the what the box looks like and how it'll work. And of course, the cable's coming out over here, but it'll be all powered back there. And just so you guys know, I am not a carpenter. I. Uh, it's just about as good a work as I can do right there. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. It's lightweight. It fits in the RV. It'll be perfect for it. The couch will go in front of it. And it is what it is, guys. It is, it is, uh, it is uh, again, not, you know, it's not perfect, but it'll be fine for, for what we need. And so that's up. <clears throat> I was concerned with my entire Toshiba being seen, but because... Because this rises with mine, it gets seen. So I did that absolutely perfect. Uh, otherwise, I'd probably have to use a half inch uh, piece of wood on top. Or I could have done a flip cabinet. Uh, but I cut that part of, the, part of the mechanism off. I could easily make that a flip cabinet if I had to. Um, and I still could right now. But I like it to rise up on top. I think that looks really nice. And when it comes back down... That's what it looks like. And um, it's relatively quiet.
You once in a while hear that little bit of wiggle in my uh, upper bracket where I screwed it in. That's a wiggle in the, in the part that I had to make. Um, and I made it a little bit longer on purpose or a little bit wider on purpose because I wasn't sure I could fit it tight. And that's what it's going to look like. I'm pretty happy, guys. Anyway, so that's, that's the lift cabinet. Um, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be painted tonight. And we'll get back to you tomorrow. I'm gonna. I still gotta go buy the piece of wood, the oak for it, or the the walnut for it. And uh, after this, you'll see part two. And there may be something in between part one and part two because that may take more than a few days to do. If anyone can use uh, this idea for their RV, uh, be my guest. Use the idea, and it's very simple. Very simple project to make. It's uh, one sheet of plywood several different cuts uh, straight cuts very simple to do hey guys thanks for joining me remember full-time part-time anytime it's a great time to rv and we'll see you again on the next episode to like share and subscribe click the logo to the left